Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. His name is My Way. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a product section using HTML, CSS, and JS. Now, I'm going coming coming back to my industrial PHP file, and after this slide ready, I write another comment. This is for work area. Okay, and take a take a container class, the dev class. The dev class name is container hyphen fluid. Okay, and after that, take another comment. I write another comment which is product section. Okay, and take another uh, section class. This this section is also a separate section so I write uh, section tag and the class name is section or a product section okay uh, product section product section yeah after that uh, we just need a heading of that whole section so I'm simply write a div. The div class name is section heading. And I take a heading tag which is S3 and uh, the class name of that as heading tag is just heading, okay? The test products. Okay. Now press the control S and check in the browser. Refresh. Yeah. As you can see that here is the latest products. Now what I need to change that. Okay, I'm coming back to my stylus file and change the background color of color of whole body tag. So I write write the body and the background is silver. Okay, so I write simply the silver. Now press the control uh, S and refresh. Sorry for that. Yeah, as you can see that the whole body color is now changed into the silver color. Now what you need to do that for uh, looking beautiful with that heading. So I'm simply coming back to my stylus file and go down and see which section uh, product section. Okay. See what's what is that? This is the product section. Oh yeah. So dot because it's class product hyphen section and the width is you must need to define the width of every single div. Okay. So width of that width is hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, and of course the background. Okay, the background is hash triple F for looking good. Okay, now press the control set plus R for Windows for hard reload. Okay, as you can see that uh, the background is now changed but it's not looking good. So we need to take the padding and margin also. So I write the padding is from top and bottom is 50 pixel and now from left and right is 15. Or you can also take the 10 okay and the margin is 15 pixel and from letter right is 0 okay now press the control plus s again and refresh as you can see that the latest product heading is looking good and also the background of and the section is of the product and the section is looking also good now let's see the style of that heading so section heading hmm, yeah let's check again yeah that's a section hyphen heading and copy that and paste it here and the width is also 100% 
and height will be yeah 48 pixel and also that okay uh okay let's check now change the style of that so dot section hyphen heading we have a heading class so the font weight is 400 okay and the border from bottom is 2 pixels solid padding from bottom is 7 pixel okay now let's press the control plus s for save and refresh as you can see the font weight is uh, looking good the font weight is suitable for that uh, but as you can see the padding from just take a padding from also from uh, left and the and the border is increasing and then set with fully 100% so what you need to do so first of all uh, change the padding from bottom okay and the display is inline block okay now press ctrl s and refresh As you can see that the latest product heading is looking good and also at that border that border is also suitable for this section. Now in the next video we are working on the products and the products carousel slider. Okay. Now let's meet in the next video.